They were designed to be the best. They met enemies face to face, endured tragedies and enjoyed victories. They went down in history due to the bravery of their crews. They are the ships that deserve to be called Naval Legends. The first carrier in Yorktown who fought the war's most crucial sea battles, vastly outnumbered by a huge Imperial Navy. It takes a certain kind of ship, a certain kind of man, to stand up to bombs, torpedoes, and kamikazes, day after day, and keep coming back to win. Good morning, everyone. Um, I say good morning because it's about one o'clock in the morning here in New Jersey. Um, I'm still up because um, I'm excited about getting started again. Um, it's the Revell USS Yorktown CV5. Um, it's in one one twelve hundred scale. Um, it's a small kit. Um, I figure for myself not having built one before. A smaller kit would be a great thing for me to start out with. Um, so I went out and to my local hobby shop this this, uh, this afternoon, and lo and behold, he had one. Guy always comes through for me. Anything I'm looking for, he usually has it. Uh, I would be lost without this hobby shop. Um, but anyway, I digress. Um, I decided I was going to build the Yorktown. So, moving on, what I wanted to do is, um, I always wanted to build the Yorktown. The reason I always wanted to build the Yorktown is because I've got this fascination with shipwrecks. And I always thought that it would be really neat to build the Yorktown as she is today. I mean, come on. Everybody takes these kits, they build it, and they paint it, and they might put, you know, there's little subtle changes to it, but it's always the same thing over and over again. Um, I'm trying to be somewhat unique, and I know I'm not the only one that's ever done this, because I happened to run across another video of it when I was looking looking around today, um, but I'm going to make this as she sits at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean today. And in order to do that... Pulled out my reference material, which in this case is this um, big old book here. Back out so you can see it. Okay, it's the Return to Midway by Bob Ballard and Rick Archibald. Okay, it's got the history of uh, of the Battle of Midway and a really cool story about how they went out looking for and found um, the Yorktown. Um, some of you might think that this is a rather um, morbid build. Yeah, I guess it is in some ways. Um, but I like them. Um, not because I'm just some dark goth nerd that sits in my basement, but um, because I just feel that showing things like that, um, like with the B-17 on fire crashing, um, is a reminder to me and to all of us of the price that was paid during World War II for the things that we have today and we take advantage of and take for granted. So, <clears throat> I'll get off my perch about that. I'm not trying to be, uh, not trying to uh, lecture everyone. But anyway, um, this is the kit. So I went out, got the kit. It was just what I wanted. Size-wise, I just thought it was perfect for me. So, <clears throat> I got the kit and I got it home. I got to spend a couple of minutes with it. I reopened it and show you what I found inside. Okay. That's it. 
that's everything. We got instructions. A couple pages. Actually, it's only two pages of instructions. It's uh, uh, three, four, five, six steps to build this. Uh, two sprues. That's all there is. There's this one here. Okay, it's got the lower hull. It's got the lower decks that comes in two pieces. It's got a bunch of aircraft. Um, and it's got the, uh, the island. Um, the next sprue. More aircraft. And then the flight deck. The flight deck is really kind of... Check that out. Look, it's Swiss cheese. I guess doing this as it rests today is pretty good because it's already been shelled by the Japanese, huh? I'm going to have to fill those in. Um, one of the other guys in a group build, this dude, this is smaller than I expected. I honestly knew it was a small kit, but it, until I got it in my hands, I just didn't realize how small this was. So, <laughs> it's a good thing I'm not joining your group build, guys, because this thing is, whew, this is small. I'm going to have a tough time to, to do what I want to do. Um, I lost my train of thought. Oh. One of the guys in a group build, I happen to remember his name, uh, Panzer Man Bunker Guy Dude. I forget your name. I'm sorry, guy. Uh, no offense. Um, but he is doing the Enterprise in this scale, and he went and he hand did all the um, the anti aircraft batteries along both sides of the flight deck. It's it's truly amazing. And I thought it was like, oh wow, you know, I could do that. And then I saw this kit, and I'm like, yeah, no, I don't think I could do that. <laughs> um, I wish I knew how he did it, because it's so freaking small. Um, but, um, we'll see. Um, but, there's three elevators in this, so, you know, first off the bat, I'm going to have to fill all these holes in. Um, there's three elevators in the kit, I'm going to have to cut them out, because um, I'll show pictures um I'll show you pictures at the end of this video of what it looks like today. Um, they're artist renderings, a painting or so. Um, it's pretty cool. That's what I'm going after. Um, but uh, in a way, I thought it would be kind of easy. I won't have to worry about any of the aircraft, no painting the aircraft or anything. Because um, they're not going to be used because there's none on the, plant, on the ship. Um, Painting, I won't have to go crazy on either because it's going to be underwater and it's going to be, you know, it's been sunken for what, 60, 70 years now, so um, it's not going to have that gray paint anymore. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be covered with uh, sediment and, and algae and stuff like that. So um, it's going to take some time. Um, it's going to take some real, uh, it's going to take quite a bit of time. But I got to figure out how to do the anti-aircraft guns because I don't just like Panzerman. Um, I don't like these. There. Let me see if I can show you. Here's some on the lower deck, um, right at my thumbnail. There. They are really tiny, um, but they just look. They don't look good. And uh, most of York towns are pointing to the sky anyway right now. Um, the odd thing for this too, I noticed so far, is you know. The, the anti aircraft guns are going to go along here. This aircraft, this carrier doesn't seem to have as many anti aircraft guns as like the Enterprise did. Uh, maybe I just haven't found the right pictures, but I don't think she really had a heck of a lot of them. Um, but uh, but I do want to put them in. They're missing here and here, um, so I want to try to fix that, make it look better. Um, so anyway, that's the kit. Um, that's my idea on what I want to do with it. Uh, now I just got to get to work. It's very small. It's going to be some really, really tedious work. Um, but uh, that's it. Uh, so thanks for looking. Um, comments, questions, um, appreciated. Um, be gentle. <laughs> and uh, that's it. Uh, be strong, guys. Uh, Till next time. Take care.